Hi y'all, uh, my name is Saloni and in this video I'll be showing you my project for phase four in Flatiron School. Um, so here I have created a chat room app um, using action cables in Rails and with React hooks. So it was quite a bit of a challenge to get it all figured out because I have never used action cable before doing this project or even learned about it so i gave myself a challenge to really work with action cable and see how it would go and i'm really proud of how things turned out and it's actually working uh, which is awesome so to start off um i do have two screens here the reason for that you would just find out so before i go into details um, I will a little bit mention about Action Cable. So Action Cable really just creates real-time communication. Um, it connects the client to the server and it gives you like the full duplex communication, meaning you, um, client is sending the request, server is giving a handshake, and then you're just basically having bi-directional uh, messaging system, which means if someone sends you a message, it, you should get it in real time as soon as they send it. It's quite a bit of a magic when you think about it, um, like how we just get messages instantly. So um, yeah, so let's show you real quick. Here I can sign in. Uh, before I get into sign in, I will just show you like a little bit of the concept behind this um, project. So. I mean, it's it's really cute. <laughs> How do you feel today? Um, this project is basically uh, created uh, for chat rooms based on how you feel. You can enter different chat rooms. You can talk about it. Um, and, you know, you if you're sad, you can even uh, go to the ch other chat rooms happy and, you know, maybe look at other people's happy stories and maybe that will make your mood a little bit brighter. And the concept is just that. Um, and it just takes you to different chat room based on your emotions on how you feel. So currently, I have not, I'm not signed in, so it's not going to show me anything. So, for example, I'm going here; it's not showing me anything. Let me just see real quick if my servers are running correctly as well. Um, let me just see real quick. Okay, yeah, it's just um, a bit slow with my, um, I'm sorry about that, It I just turned it on, so which is why it wasn't giving me this. Um, so basically, it gets this message from my database, and it's going to say, hey, it's awesome, we're glad you're feeling happy, would you like to enter the chat room? So, and it also tells you that you have to be signed in in order to enter a chat room. Um, so right here, if I go, it will take me directly to the sign up page. Um, you could directly go there from this page. It's up to you. If you already have the account, you can just sign in. If not, you can either uh, click on create an account or you can click on sign up. They will take you to the sign up page. So let's go to the sign in page. And I just have created my own account. And let me sign in here. Okay, so now we're signed in, and here I will connect myself as Michelle. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, once you're logged in as two different users, you can see their name up here, that they're logged in as they are. So I can uh, go to any of these um, chat rooms, um, we can start with happy. It just basically shows you, yes, I'm happy. Um, you can enter the chat room and chat to the users that way. Um, if you are stressed, you can similarly go to the stress chat room and it will, let's, let's go here. So it shows you um, the messages that are already there and what time they were posted and the users. Here you can search for the users if there are many users. 
um, you can search by their username. Um, it just shows you like um, the chat room and um, yeah. So things you can do as you can see that on the sender side, which here I'm logged in as Saloni and here I'm logged in as Michelle. On the sender side on both sides, I get a question mark with the messages, um, which gives me ability to edit my message or delete those message. So same goes for here. I can edit those messages or, you know, delete those messages if I don't like. So let's start with um, sending the message. So here I'm going to send a message. Um, I am doing great. Oops. How about you? So I'm going to hit send. And you can see the magic of Action Cable is that it instantly sends um, the messages to the all the subscribers of the chat room channel, which is pretty cool in my opinion, and I think it's great. So if I were to change this, I um, I can edit this message right here in this edit bar. And let's just put two question marks and see how that goes. Um, and if I save it, that should also be updated instantly on both sides. So it doesn't matter who I'm logged in as I will see the updated messages, who is sending those messages and the users in the chat room. Um, again, if I wanted to delete this message, um, I can simply do that by hitting this delete button and it would instantly delete from both sides. So, which is quite a bit of a magic in my opinion, and I, I think I've probably said this really many times already. Um, but yeah, this is my project to create um, a chat room using different um, users and be able to stream it online to all of them. So now on to the coding part of it. I am going to squeeze this right here and um, let's just talk about what's happening on the back end. So I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, so as you can see, as I was doing things around, it is um, logging every little thing that I am changing on my um, client side to my server, I can see all the logs um, when I was deleting those messages or when, as you can see my delete, it is sending that SQL statement back to uh, using active record. Um, it's sending that message uh, for destroying it. Similarly, I am also doing the update before. Um, that is also being done here. You can see that. Um, using my patch request for messages we as and here is this main thing that i want to talk about is like chat room is streaming all those messages so you can see that chat room is streaming transmitting broadcasting to all the channels uh, all the subscribers um, once it's connected using web software so that's that um, so here is how I was able to get this working um, from I am using sessions controller um, for authentication and authorization. Um, so here, once the user, I find the user, their uh, password gets authenticated and my users controller has the uh, that I can see and create or show users. So in here, as you can see, since I was able to authenticate the user, then the user gets logged into the um, profile after that. Um, over here in the connection.rb file is where it all begins for action table. So first we have to create the connection with the WebSocket connection from the front end to the back end. So this is where this helps. So when our front end instantiate a WebSocket connection by creating a consumer, it reaches out to our backend um, module and then um, 
it reaches out to this method and creates an object for it, um, which then verifies the user by checking its uh, cookies. And then once it's verified user, then it will let you in. But if it's not, it will reject that connection. And um, this reject authorized connection is a WebSocket. If, if it closes that WebSocket connection, if the user is not verified. Then we have this chat rooms channel, um, which is what we, which takes it from the application cable channel. And then it has three methods here, subscribed, uh, received, and unsubscribed. In subscribed method, um, we're finding the chat room and we're saying we're going to stream for this chat room. In this uh, unsubscribe, you can, um, delete this if you want to it's these things are not necessary but it just stops all the streams if um, before hitting into the subscription um, then in this received method i am saying that chat rooms channel dot broadcast to chat room and chat room uh, method uh, uh, um, hashes receiving a chat room users and the messages so it's basically going to uh, broadcast the data that I get from the front end and um, to all the subscribers. So this is the job of this received method. So the way it does it in my messages controller, I have this create method, which will then, once it creates that message, it's going to look for the chat room for that message and then it's going to broadcast that chat room once that message is saved. So now I am going to be broadcasting an updated chat room to all the subscribers. And same applies to the update method for the edit option and the destroy option. So here this broadcast chat room is coming from my private method, which I've created so I don't have to repeat myself. Um, in all of those methods. Um, here, this broadcast chat room is going to broadcast chat room and all of its attributes. So once that's done, it's going to send over the updated information to the front end and to all the subscribers in the channel. And I've been saying subscribers, subscribers meaning people who are in that chat room, which means they are subscribed to that uh, chat room. And for every new user, there's a new connection established for just that user and a new session created for that user. And um, again, in my sessions controller, we have that. I um, do want to talk about a little bit about my relationship structure here. Um, so user has many messages and it has many chat rooms. My chat room controller, sorry, no, it's right here. Um, my chat room has many messages and has many users through messages. So my messages here is acting like a join table, which has, which belongs to a user and belongs to a chat room. So message uh, table is going to have the uh, mes uh, message ID, message uh, body, user ID, chat room ID. So um, we can use that to get the information on our front end. So now once that back end was established, that connection was established, action cable was working. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that you do need um, in the routes, you do need um, this cable mount, action cable server um, to mount that action cable WebSocket connection. And um, we also in our cable.yml file, we're going to change our adapter to um, Redis. Redis is a gem that basically helps Action Cable um, to broadcast the messages from for a client to server and server to client. So that's the job of the Redis. And it's very important that we install it, but to install the Redis gem, we basically just go to gem file, uh, which is right here. Um, and I just uncommented this out and did the bundle install. So now on to my front end, I have my uh, index.js is where it all began. Here I have created cable app.cable and action cable.create consumer. So this will create that WebSocket connection. WebSocket 
creates a faster a full duplex communication system than HTTP. So um, it that uh, which with full duplex it means that it's sending the data and receiving it. Um, so it's bi-directional messaging system that we can create with using WebSockets. So this is why we're using WebSocket here instead of HTTP. And once that WebSocket connection establishes, if you remember, it connects to the connection over there in the back and then verifies the user. So this is being passed down to my app. And in my app.js, I have some methods um, in, which is the get room ID, which is just getting the chat rooms uh, data for that. And it's going to set that uh, current chat room to whatever result we get. And, um, and then the result get passed into these chat room users and messages. And this is the data that is getting into our backend if we, uh, in our chat rooms channel. Over here, we have chat room, chat room, uh, users, messages. So this is where that data is coming from. So when we set that, um, where did it go? Sorry, there's just too many files. Okay, there it is. You would think I've been working on this for two weeks. I would know, but it's just too much. <laughs> so then we have the update app state room. It is going to update the state of our current room with the new messages or user being posted. Um, so that's the job of this update app. And then I have this room show component, which is taking all those methods that I passed in and the state values. And then we can go to our room show here. In this room show, um, I have this component called room websocket, which is going to um, do the subscription task for me. So um, room show, basically the only job for us is to display everything for that room. And then it has this room websocket. So in room websocket is where I am mounting um, that connection that with that subscription. So I'm using use effect here. Here, um, this is just a way to get that ID for the chat room. And um, I'm passing that into it. And then this is sending to the get room data method that I have in my app.js. So it's getting that room. And then here we're using my cable app that we got from our index.js being passed down to this uh, component. And this is how we're creating the subscription to our chat rooms channel in our backend. And we're passing in the ID over here to our room. And if you notice that in our chat room channel, I was finding that um, the chat room by this room terms, which means that a room is basically the ID for that chat room, which is coming from my front end. And with this received method, similar to what I have for my received in the back end, this received is sending that data and updating that app status with that updated data. So this is the job of that room that socket, and that's the it that's the only job for this uh, component. It doesn't do anything else. And like I said, it's just available at the end of this room um, room show. Um, and then in this, I am just sending those messages and uh, being sent to the back end, and then displaying them, displaying the users on the side, and as well as the messages as well. So that's how I was able to build that cable connection. And as you can see, it's doing its thing over here as I'm, you know, as I'm even talking, it's upgrading to WebSocket and the connection from the chat room. It should um, also tell you the connection, that this is the connection. And um, let me see. Yeah, so it is saying streamed via chat rooms, chat rooms, channel streaming the information. So this is how I was able to connect from the front end to back end to using Action Cable. And yeah, that's it for this video. And I hope um, this was informational to whosoever watching. Um, thank you.